A pleasant good day to each and everyone. I am Noraldin Birinandang, the leader of Team Gold Digger. With my subordinate Saliha Ampaso Dumrang, Saramina Arong Pakguro, Saniya Haji Rakim, and Trivia Paez. So, our topic for today is the Sustainable Development Goals, which is a very interesting topic. By the way, our audience here are non-specialists within the age of 18 to 25 years old, gender, male, female, and LGBTQ+, occupation, or students. So, first of all, I would like to ask everyone, what do you know about Sustainable Development Goals? So, if I would answer this question, I've been knowing the Sustainable Development Goals since I was grade 12 because this is one of my advocacy, one of the advocacy also of my organization. That's why I we are going to share with you the importance of the Sustainable Development Goals, which is to um, provide worldwide guidance for addressing the global challenges facing the international community, and it also protecting the natural foundation of life and our planet everywhere and for everyone. And it also preserving people's opportunity to live in dignity and prosperity across generation. So let's go. The Sustainable Development Goals is, or the SDGs, also known as the Global Goals. It were adopted by the United Nations in 2015 as a universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that by 2030, all people enjoy peace and prosperity. Also, the SDGs are integrated. They recognize that action in one area will affect outcomes in others and that development must balance social, economic, and environmental sustainability. So the, main, the major components of um, uh, the sustainable development goals are the economic growth, environmental stewardship, and social inclusion. So here are the five P's of the SDG or the five approach of SDG. The first one is the people. Ending poverty, hunger, allowing for individual to have good health and well-being. Planet is to protecting the planet so it can support the needs of the present and future generation, prosperity, ensuring prosperity and fulfilling lives in harmony with nature, peace, the world is still a long way from becoming peace but only through conscious working toward these goals we can make any progress in preventing violence and making communities more secure from top to bottom. Partnership, implement the agenda through a solid global partnership. It is important to recognize that none of the, these goals are achieving without working together. So here are the Sustainable Development Goals, or the 17 SDG, which will be discussed by my subordinate. Good morning, I am Sunny Bihajirakim and I would be discussing the four subtopics of SDJ or Sustainable Development Goals. The No Poverty, Zero Hunger, Good Health and Well-Being, and Quality Education. Let's go first to the No Poverty. Eliminating poverty is about giving all people everywhere an equal chance at living fulfilled lives. So, poverty is the most deadly disease. 
as a sustainable development advocator, we are fighting to eliminate poverty if possible or at least minimize its effect. We would like people to have a comfortable and healthy living without worrying for basic necessities and struggling too much. We would like to bring genuine smiling faces to every people in this world. The second one is the zero hunger. As we observe our surroundings, we've noticed the numbers of people begging for food and people, ha and people having empty stomach. It was devastating. Every people must intake foods every day and that is what we are advocating now. Zero hunger. Every human beings must, ha must have full tummy for them to continue their journey in this life and prepare for a better future. The third one is the good health and well-being. Ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. Healthy lifestyle and well-being makes a person look good. It is very important to have a good health, to be emotionally stable and mentally healthy. Having a good health and well-being means you are unbreakable. Problems could not destroy you easily. And that is what we are aiming for, to strengthen the totality of a person so that living a life they wanted is possible. The fourth one is the quality education. Ensuring inclusive and equitable equality education for all and promoting lifelong learning whether inside or outside of school. And education is the key to success. Quality education open for more opportunities and knowledge. It also helps to discover or enhance skills and abilities. And it is the primary factor that would lead us to a brighter day and happy future. Quality education products are innovations that are relevant today and in the future. It also encourages new brilliant ideas that could possibly change the world. Hello everyone, my name is Tri Trivia Espaez. So number five, gender equality. It is vital to give women equal rights, land, and property, sexual and reproductive health, into technology and the internet. Today, there are more women in public office than ever before, but encouraging more women leaders will, he will help achieve greater gender equality. Ending all discrimination against women and girl girls is not only a basic human right it's cru crucial for a sustainable future it's proven that empowering women and girls helps economic growth and development number six clean water and sanitation water scarcity affects more than 40 percent of people an alarming figure that is project projected to rise as temperatures do temperatures do Although 2.1 billion people have improved water sanitation since 1990, dwindling drinking water supplies are affecting every continent. More and more countries are experiencing water stress and increasing drought and, and desertification is already worsening these trends. By 2050, it is projected that at least one in four people will suffer suffer recurring water shortages. Shortages. Safe and affordable drinking water for all by 2030 requires we invest in educate infrastructure, provide sanitation facilities, and encourage hygiene. Prote protecting and restoring water-related ecosystem is essential. Number seven, affordable and clean energy. Between 2000 and 2018, the number of people with electricity increased from 78 to 90 percent, and the number and the numbers without electricity dipped to 789 million. Yet, as the population continues to grow, so will the demand of demand for cheap energy and an economic reliance on fossil fu fuels is creating drastic changes to our climate. Expanding infrastructure and upgrading technology to provide clean and more efficient energy in all countries will encourage growth and help the environment. Number eight, decent work and economic growth. The SDGs promote sustained economic growth, high levels of 
productivity in technological innovation, encouraging in entrepreneurship and jobs creation are key to this. Are effective measures to eradicate forced labor, slavery, and human trafficking. With these targets in mind, the goal is to achieve full and productive employment and decent work for all women and men by 2030. So we have now the industry innovation and infrastructure, in which investment is crucial driver for economic growth and development. Technological progress is also key to finding lasting solutions to both economic and environmental challenges such as providing new jobs and promoting energy efficiency. So with this, we have to build resilient infrastructure to promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization of foster innovations. With this, we can have a foundation so that we could have the successful community. With this infrastructure system, our economic will increase the standard of living of country's population. For all of us to survive and prosper, we need new intelligent um, urban planning that are create safe. So we need this industry innovation and infrastructure in order us to survive and prosper. So we have now the reduced inequalities. This widening disparities are called for action that require that adoption of sound policies to empower the bottom percentile of income earners and promote economic inclusion of all regardless of sex, race, or ethnicity. To sum it all, um, in order to reduce economic inequality, we have to increase the minimum wage, expand the earned income tax, build assets for working families, invest in education so that everyone could have a better education better health care and social safety nets and higher and broader economic growth, especially in agriculture. So we have now the sustainable cities and communities. So we the people need a sustainable cities and communities. Every now and then, most of places here in Philippines are lack of sustainable status. So with this, um, we have to implement this uh, sustainable status so we could have so we could have an amazing community that everyone could ask for and everyone could have an easy life. So we have now the responsible consumption and production. Humans can consume a lot, whether water, food, or energy. It also means we produce a large amount of waste. So to ensure sustainable consumption and production, we have to practice this practice necessarily entails to respect the biophysical boundaries of planet it is uh, important to achieve economic growth so that's all thank you the sustainable development goals 13 is about climate action the goal has target to achieve by 2030 the goal aims to mobilize 100 billion annually by 2020 to address the needs of developing countries to both adapt to climate change and invest in low-carbon development. The Sustainable Development Goals 14 is life below water. The world's ocean, their temperature, chemistry, current, and life drive global system that make the earth habitable for humankind. How we manage this vital resource is essential for human humanity as a whole and to counterbalance the effect to climate change over 3 billion people depend on marine and coastal biodiversity for their livelihoods. However, today we are saying 30% of the world's fish stock over exploited, reaching below the level at which they can produce sustainable yields. The Sustainable Development Goals 15 is life on land. Human life depends on Earth as much the ocean for our sustenance and livelihoods. Plants life provides 80% of the human diet, and we rely on agriculture as important economic resources. Forests cover 30% of the Earth's surface, provide vital for million species and important source of clean, and clean air and water, as well as being crucial for combating climate change urgent action must be taken to reduce the loss of natural habitats and biodiversity. 
which are part of our common heritage and support global food and water security, climate change mitigation, adaptation, and peace and security. The Sustainable Development Goal 16 is peace, justice, justice and strong institution. We cannot hope for sustainable development without peace, stability, human rights, and effective governance. Based on the rule of law, sexual violence, crimes, exploitation, and torture are also prevalent where there is conflict or no rule of law, and other countries must take measures to protect those who are most at rest. The Sustainable Development Goal 17 is partnership for the goals. The world is more interconnected than ever. Improving access to technology and knowledge is an important way to share ideas and foster innovation. Coordinating policies to help developing countries manage their debt, as well as promoting investment for the less developed is vital for sustainable growth and development. The goals aim to enhance North, South, and South, South, cooperation with supporting national plan to achieve all the targets, promoting international trade and helping developing countries increase their exports is all part of achieving a universal rules-based and equitable trading system that is fair and open benefits all. Therefore, we conclude that our topic sustainable development goals as definitely a key for a brighter today and a comfortable life in the near future. It addresses the common problems encountered all around the world. And achieving it is possible if we would put our heart into it, if there would be a cooperation from every people, if the government, high officials, and the people would join forces. Then nothing is impossible. We could achieve a life we desired, a healthy and happy life today, and a better future. Believe in our abilities to make it better. Thank you.